hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in this particular tutorial we are going to see a detailed description in a very simple way that what is the difference between data prop and data flow so if i just go to the uh, gcp console and if i try to search for data prop then you'll see this particular uh, link and if you say this, it is the managed Apache Hadoop service, right? So it's a product that GCP gives you, which internally is a managed Apache Hadoop uh, product or service, you can say. Whereas if I search for data flow, then you will see it's a streaming analytics service. So both are uh, services. And if we just need to understand that what is the exact difference in uh, between data prop and data flow and in which scenario you need to use what then this is the video uh, for you and watch this till end let's go through the data flow uh, data prop first now see both of these are data processing engines okay so uh, let it be data prop or data flow both the common purpose or the purpose of these two services is same that it is a uh, it is an engine or it is a service that is made for processing the data right when you have like obviously when we say cloud solutions uh, data processing obviously we are talking about big data huge volumes of the data so no doubt uh, it, it is going to uh, be a better solution when you have huge amount of data to process so both are data processing engine now see whenever we are uh, trying to build data processing pipelines or data pipelines right there are two main sets of uh, you know scenarios that we have to deal with one is your batch data ingestion and second one is your streaming data ingestion So basically when we say uh, like what do you mean by batch data ingestion is you have a constant stream of frequency uh, of a batch or of a data like for example daily ones uh, every hourly ones or every three hours uh, the standard is that you'll keep on getting let's say if uh, the format of the data is files that to a csv files then in a, you know at a specified location you'll keep on getting the files your program should you know constantly look for uh, those files every after let's say three hours right so that is nothing but a batch data ingestion right you get the data in batches and you know on a on a, a decided schedule that okay we, we can decide this that i want you to run my job every three hours every five hours just once in a day at uh, 4 p.m 4 p.m. every day my job will run and what it will do is it will go to a particular uh, folder location whatever files are landed up to that location it will pick up those and will you know uh, process those with whatever logic that has been implemented so that is nothing but a batch pipeline which runs on a some on some specified frequency it could be anything it could be hourly uh, daily monthly whatever the frequency would be but it will you know wake up it will do its job and it will stop so th this is the you know uh, this is kind of a concept that when you say a batch data ingestion that your job stops at some point and then again wakes up and do the same thing but with a streaming data ingestion this is not the case in streaming data ingestion you have to continuously run your job and you have to continuously look for the data if as soon as it arrives you will have to you know you, your job has to listen that particular uh, thing and uh, basically based on uh, you know whatever logic you have written you will be uh, processing your data so that is the streaming data ingestion where we are talking about near real time data processing yeah so as soon as your data lands on uh, some kind of you know here all the messaging queues are used like kafka propsub uh, in gcp so all these kinds of uh, tools that are that are must 
for this kind of a data ingestion pipeline and this is where the difference also exists when it comes to data proc and data flow see with the data proc if you wanted to implement a batch data ingestion or a streaming data ingestion pipeline then the kind of a libraries that you need to use are different so for batch data ingestion when it comes to data proc then data proc you will have to go with something called as spark so there are lots of things like spark core then you have spark sql so accordingly you will have to write your logic but as as soon as it changes that using data proc we wanted to do the streaming data ingestion you will have to move to d streams yeah so using the d streams uh, and data frames and obviously that that kind of a jargon you will have to process your data so now when it what is the relationship between the data proc and spark let's understand that first so what google has done is internally within the data proc service as a library they have used apache spark right so data proc internally uses apache spark library to actually process the data and then on the top of so it's like on the top of apache spark uh, library or service or product whatever you call it as gcp has built one wrapper around this particular service with lots of other features like you can create the dynamic clusters then uh, you can allocate how much memory that you want because it is kind of a in house to uh, gcp how many clusters you want what should be the configuration of those cluster logging monitoring of these jobs all these kinds of very rich features uh, google has built around the spark uh, apache spark library and they have made kind of a new product or new service available within the gcp techsuit and they have named it as data proc but internally whenever developer wants to understand it then data proc is nothing but you know some extra more features which is which are very rich in their features but the core heart of this data proc service is apache spark if you know apache spark you can say you will be able to do uh, the data proc jobs and you know you will be able to write the data proc jobs now and as i said if you wanted to build the batch ingestion pipeline then there are some different libraries that you will have to deal with uh, from apache spark if you want to build the near real time service using data proc then you will have to use some different libraries from the apache uh, spark uh, you know jargon this is not the case with data flow right let's understand this now now data flow as as similar on the similar lines of data proc what gcp has done is or google has done is on apache beam library so there is a library called as apache beam right now it's a data processing engine itself what google has done is they have again built kind of a you know wrapper on the top of apache beam with again a rich set of features like logging monitoring you can run the jobs uh, you know dynamically you can schedule those using cloud airflow uh, and there are lots of other things that they have given but ultimately at core what is the heart of data flow is apache beam right and the beauty of apache beam is for batch data ingestion and near real time data ingestion or streaming data ingestion you don't have to change your libraries as such you still can use the same libraries the apache beam core libraries to build both kinds of pipelines so data pro it's a very minor change actually obviously each each library right let it be apache spark and apache beam uh, they have their own feature set of features and own you know pros and cons and we have to decide that uh, on on use case basis but the minor very high level difference is apache spark for to process the batch ingestion data they have a separate libraries to process the streaming data they have you know kind of a separate libraries in apache beam it is all consolidated into a one single big library and you don't have to really you know deviate uh, or you don't have to uh, you know uh, write your program thinking about what kind of pipeline i'm building 
irrespective of whether you are building a near real time pipeline or batch generation pipeline your library remains the same but so basically kind of a approach remains the same but when it comes to data prog then you will have to you know change your mindset uh, change your thought process a bit uh, because again the concepts are going to be you know very similar but there has to be some kind of you know different thought that you will have to come up with there is altogether a different thought process whenever we are trying to build a, you know a batch injection pipeline with data prop uh, versus uh, near real time in, uh, injection pipeline with data prop yeah? so if you know uh, for a fact that uh, like whatever pipeline that you are building is going to have both uh, your both both types of data like some of the data sets or some of the data is going to come through a batch some of the data is going to come through uh, near real time uh, stream uh, stream services then better you go with data flow because you know you don't have to deal with this kind of a you know uh, design mechanism where you will have to have different thought processes for two different things but at a very high level like this is this is altogether a different topic for a discussion that uh, when to use data prop when when to use data flow but if we wanted to understand the difference exact core difference between data prop and data prop uh, data flow then this is what the difference is in a summary that data prop is built is a service so by definition data prop is a service that google has built on the top of apache spark so whenever we trigger the data pro data prop job ultimately it is gonna trigger the spark job whenever we trigger a data flow job since it's a service that is built on the top of apache beam library ultimately it is gonna trigger the apache beam job okay i hope you understood uh, the difference and purpose of these two separate tools and i think you'll be able to you know now uh, think of these two uh, tools separately and in a more corrective uh, direction signing off for now i'll see you in the next one thank you